Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Today we're going to review Elden Ring. I know it's the recent winner of the Game of the Year award uh, for 2022, so that's huge. I figured, uh, you know, I might as well talk about it. This game was uh, one of the best games I've ever played, so I'm just going to highlight some pros and cons. So I think the first thing we need to discuss when it comes to Elden Ring is the difficulty. I know this might deter a lot of players and a lot of people will be like, oh wait, you know, I sucked at Dark Souls, I don't have a chance to play this. Um, as a certified noob of Souls type games, I can definitely confirm that this is not the case at Elden Ring. Uh, this game is very fair actually. Um, any boss fight where I've lost, I feel like it's... Some, it's my fault. I just didn't study the fight long enough. And, and also, also to mention, there's other ways to play the game. So uh, as a uh, ranged mage, uh, that really uh, cuts a lot of the, the skill involved in close combat. And one thing we really need to talk about in this game is just the gorgeous world it surrounds you in. It just This game is literally a piece of art. Every time I find myself playing this, you just get lost in the beautiful vistas and... Uh, you know, the, the sights you see, it's just it's a beautiful game. Um, nothing nothing really comes close to it as terms of visuals. This is probably one of the best looking games ever, like by far. So, And that's not me saying lightly either. This is this game is just gorgeous. Just to, and you can get lost for hours just running around in your, in your horse and, um, and you're just exploring new things. I like that this game is open-ended. So, you know, you kind of create your own adventure. Uh, this game does not hold your hand at all a lot of the information you'll have to find uh, you know through the internet and other sources now when it comes to the storyline uh, it's not as straightforward as your conventional like video game you'll have to maybe look at some lore videos or whatnot but there's very deep there's a lot to it and uh, yeah a great story and in terms of the quests once again uh, you'll find yourself kind of confused if you're not looking at any guides there will be hints here and there um, but like I said I really relied on looking at YouTube videos to, to get through some of these quests but yeah if I were gonna list anything as a con for this game I would just go and mention that this game does rely on uh, the players really using the wiki uh, nothing's uh, very straightforward so you'll have to do a lot of uh, research on the game on your own time um, and another, another th uh, I guess, a con I would say are uh, some of the weapons and builds might be unbalanced. Um, you know, you'll find, uh, you know, something super overpowered. But then again, they're always uh, working on this. They're nerfing some weapons and, and improving others. So, uh, but yeah, in terms of con, that's about it. This game even has PvP too, so that's a lot of fun. Uh, I find myself getting smacked to left, right, and center, but... Like I said, I'm a self-certified noob, so that's just me. You might have a better experience than me. But yeah, one area of frustration are some of the bosses in this game. Um, it can really uh, halt your progress. Uh, you'll come across some bosses that will just smack you around over and over. Um, I wouldn't say it's as difficult as maybe Dark Souls, uh, but this game is really hard nonetheless. Um, I wouldn't even say that's a con. I kind of like the challenge. You got to... You know, learn the game more, learn your character, master your build, and then you can overcome some of the tougher fights. I like that. And yeah, progression in this game uh, usually goes through Sites of Graces, and these are uh, formerly known as Bonfires and, and Dark Souls. But yeah, uh, that's Elden Ring, uh, literally one of the best games I've ever played uh, visually, and the combat is just so rewarding. Um, obviously, the difficulty curve is something that will... Uh, you know, scare some people, but I'm just telling you this right now, as to someone who's a newer uh, Dark Souls-like player, I wouldn't consider myself, uh, you know, a pro at all, and I'm still having so much fun with the game, so, but yeah, this game's an easy 9.5 out of 10, uh, this game is very difficult, but don't let that difficulty curve intimidate you, like I said, you can grow your character, um, and there's just a lot to enjoy in this game, so, yeah, if you like the video, please leave a like, and subscribe uh, my community is growing and i'm going to keep doing my best uh, you know keep improving my videos so i really hope you enjoy them okay all right we'll see you on the next one